All right, folks, we're back. We are going to talk about shopping for a hoop house, and this one's largely going to lean on Julian because he answers uh, most of the tech calls. So the first thing that we're gonna cover is comparing apples to apples. Is, is that even possible? I, I'm here to tell you right now it's not. There are, you look, you go to the internet, you start looking at hoop houses, and the, the levels are so extreme. You know, you, you could get a quote for a, a 20 by 100 from one company and a 20 by 100 from another company. And there could be $5,000 difference and one could be half of the structure the other one is. One could include everything, vents, trusses, uh, doors on both ends, polycarbonate sides, all different things. And the other one might be like our DIY kit, where it is just that. It's a very basic, simple kit, and you're gonna need a lot of stuff to finish it. So uh, definitely look at the different options. You know, one, one thing I see all the time is hip boards and brace boards. You may get hoops, but you're on your own. They don't really, they don't really spell it out and say, oh, you need to buy all this stuff additional. Uh, they just, sell you a greenhouse and then you find out after the fact oh i still need to buy this material or i still need to buy lumber or i still need to find something to attach my my lock channel to so just be very cognizant that you're comparing apples to apples and not apples to oranges and i think uh, we see that a lot with different grades of metal that can be used sometimes they're 18 gauge sometimes they're down to 13 to gauge, to gauge on depending on what width and so even a hoop is just not even a hoop in some de degrees. And not all hoops are bent to the same arc or are just going to give you as much air mass. The other thing is shipping. So depending on how these kits are built, you might get a hoop section that is four or five pieces. They can put it in a box. They can put it on a pallet. Some manufacturers, their greenhouse is two hoops. And they, they can be upwards of, 15 to 20 feet in length, and it's going to require an individual trucking company with a 40-foot trailer, and this, this is on top of the price that they're quoting you. So make sure you look at that when it comes to the shipping. You know, is the manufacturer close to you? What is it going to cost you to have something like that sent to you? Because all those factors add up at the end of the day for your total price of, of the greenhouse. And since we're on that subject, um, a supplier location does not necessarily mean that that's the manufacturer location. Correct. So mm -hmm. it, it, it could be, the supplier could be in Ohio, but it doesn't mean that the actual, the tubing or the metal that's used in the greenhouse is made in Ohio. It could be made in Texas where we are, or it could be made overseas. So uh, the origin of material doesn't necessarily mean that it's being manufactured or the, the origin of the material doesn't exactly mean that it's coming from the same place that it's selling. Right, and so uh, for transparency's sake, uh, when we put our all metal hoop house together, we were very insistent that uh, we were using US made steel. So it's uh, mined out of Pennsylvania, it's made in Chicago, and then it's shipped to us as a rolled piece. And then it's fabricated right here in North Texas, very close to the warehouse. And that allows us to be part of the manufacturing process. We work closely with the, the men and women who bend our hoops and do our welding and all the things like that. So when we get it at the warehouse ready to be distributed, you know, we've had a hand in a direct line of communication with all those folks. So it's, it's been very beneficial because I think it's led to a much better hoop house overall. So one thing I will say, when it comes to hoop house, there's so many different individual components. And so not all metal is the same. And so for instance, your uh, hoops, they may come from one place. Your hardware is more than likely going to come from a different place. Your plastic is certainly going to come from a different manufacturer. And if you're re required to use wood for your hip boards, baseboards, or anything like that, that's also going to come from a sawmill, most likely in a completely different state. So all these things are part of a kit. And e any of these can kind of, um, you know, be its own sourcing issue or anything like that. So when it comes to shopping for these kits, 
make sure that whatever you think you're going to get is actually what you're going to get. Make sure the hardware is included. Make sure the hip and baseboard is at least accounted for. If you're not going to get it, where are you going to source that locally? And how much time and effort is that going to take you? Do you have a, a vehicle to go get that? Do you have a trailer? Do you have a friend? Are you going to pay for shipping? These are all things that really can affect the bottom line that we need to be aware of. Yeah, if, if you live 30 minutes to an hour from your local lumber yard or you know, retail hardware store, what is your time worth? You know, if, if it takes you an hour to drive there, an hour to select your material, an hour to drive back, uh, roll that factor into the difference in, in one kit that includes that and one kit that does not. And, and think about it. I mean, you, if you make $40 an hour doing something, uh, then, you know, that's, that's a lot of time and a lot of additional. You could be doing something different and making more money than going to Home Depot or going to your local big box store to shop. And so the last thing uh, we're going to cover about shopping for a hoop house is, is a little bit more detailed. Uh, there's a, a few things I want to go over. Number one, the options that may or may not be included, uh, your floor considerations, your hip and base, which we've already kind of covered, uh, your in walls and your door situations, and then uh, what kind of labor is going to have to go into this and utilities. Now, labor and utilities isn't on the manufacturer, but some pe people do offer that type of service, especially if you're closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to add this to the bottom line whenever you're shopping. So the, just because you have a quote from a company doesn't mean that that's going to be the end all and be all of how much you're going to spend. So Julian, what kind of options do we have? And uh, we'll try to cover them all, but I know that further on down this series, we're going to talk about each one in depth. But just off the top of your head, you know, people call in, they have, they look and they see a price of a greenhouse to say, say it's $5,000. What can they add on their end to make that more custom for them? So you can make larger doors. You can put doors on, on both ends of the greenhouse rather than just having doors. A door on one side, you could upgrade the double doors. Insect netting for roll-up sides. You, so for additional ventilation, you can have roll-up sides. And you could add shade cloth so you can uh, lower the amount of light getting into your greenhouse in the summertime and lower the heat in the greenhouse. There, there's landscape fabric to put down before you install the greenhouse. So you, you get rid of the weeds and you're starting with a, a, a fresh slate when it comes to the ground inside the greenhouse. Am I missing anything else? Uh, did you cover shade cloth? I did cover shake cloth. Shake cloth, there's some bracing. And then uh, here very quickly, we're going to be releasing some uh, trellising components for those vine crops. And listen, folks, the reason this isn't included in the price of the kit, and so let, let's just say for a minute what is in the price of the kit, and we'll use the all metal, for instance. So the all metal has the ground post, the hoops, the ridge pole, the hip and the base braces, all of the end wall components, plus the hardware, um, and, and I mean door hardware, plus all the hardware for all the uh, attaching of everything, all the screws, the bolts, the nuts, the washers, all that kind of stuff, and then the greenhouse film itself. And so when we talk- And the door. And the oh, doors, yeah. Yeah, and the door. And so with these customizations, the reason we can't put this on up front is because A, everybody's situation is different, and B, if we included all of that just to, you know, to give you a fuller kind of kit, we would be priced unfairly above that apples to apples thing that, that we're trying to mention because not everybody has all these uh, custom pieces available and not everybody is going to include those. So we start with these base kits. Ours just happen to include everything, including the hip and base braces. So that's why we really want to make sure that you're paying attention to find a reputable company, find one that can give you great customer service, uh, find one that has all the resource up and open for you to look at, uh, plus additional resources like videos and that kind of thing, and then make your decision. So don't just bottom line, read it. And uh, a lot of people, you'd be, you'd be shocked about how many folks call up and just say, I need a greenhouse. The very first question that Julian asks is how big, and then it prompts a discussion. So whenever you go into it with that frame of mind and you haven't fully done your research, I mean, Somebody else could just say, all right, I'll send you a greenhouse and they'll send you everything under the sun. And you've actually spent more money uh, than what you need or maybe worse off. You haven't spent all the money and then you get hit with an additional round of bills on the back end when you have to go buy your lumber that you weren't aware of. 
So the reason we're doing this is to just kind of open your eyes and shine a little bit of light on stuff like that. If, if you look in the manuals for either our DIY kit or our all metal kit, every part that we have is listed. What the components that you get with the kit itself. We personally, I personally review all the greenhouse orders that we get in to make sure that you are getting what you need and what is necessary. So if you were to order something, a greenhouse, and you ordered a shape, piece of shade cloth and it, was, it didn't fit either your location or it didn't fit the size greenhouse that you want, uh, you know, we're going to reach out to you and make sure that we're getting you what is necessary or making sure that you know, you're not using it for another project. But we want you to be successful. Uh, the last thing we want is you to get a greenhouse kit and not have the things that you need for what you're growing or what application you're trying to use the greenhouse. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for this segment. And then the next segment that we're going to do is covering shipping the hoop house and what that looks like, both from our perspective and your perspective, and I guess plus the shipper's perspective and, and uh, how that is all accomplished and what you can expect. We'll see you next time.